There are currently over 670 million of you singles out there online looking for love. So if you are tired of using the same dating apps because you feel like you're not getting anywhere, then stick with me because I want to introduce a brand new dating app that I've just found that I think is going to be pretty big in the near future. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Renee Slansky and I'm a professional dating and relationship coach and I help you build the love life that you desire and deserve. Now part of my job as a dating and relationship, well, I feel them, part of my job as a dating and relationship coach is to actually show you what is out there. There are literally hundreds of dating apps out there, if not thousands, and it is growing every single day. So it is really difficult to sift through which ones are actually worth it or feel that you you only go to the ones that you kind of know based off what everyone else is using. Now, I want to make sure that you are aware of what products are out there that can actually enhance your love life and bring you closer to finding the sort of person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Statistics actually say that 83% of us are online or using dating apps because we actually want to find a long-term romantic relationship, which means the minority is only there to hook up. Now, I am all for using dating apps. Why? Because I think it's much easier to be able to work out who's actually single than trying to just go out there and meet somebody in real life. As long as you've attached the right expectation to dating apps and online dating and you're using them in the right way, then they can be an incredibly powerful tool to find love. Now, what I want to do is I want to introduce a brand new dating app that was only released in January this year, 2019, and it is called Pairing. Now, this is an app that I hadn't really heard about until they actually approached me. And the more that I looked into it, the more I realized that it is a little bit different from all the others out there. Now, the way that pairing actually works is the guys behind here spent four years trying to develop this app based off what they saw were the current struggles with single friends that they had. And they found that the majority of the time, the relationships in our world can be built purely by the connections that we already have. So basically what it does is it uses your contact list to be able to network the people in your world in order to be able to find matches. Let me explain that a little bit more clearly. When you join the app, it's not so much about uploading so many profile pictures that it all becomes about your appearance, which I think is one of the main roadblocks we kind of have when it comes to using dating apps is we fo focus too much on the image that we're presenting rather than understanding that if we want to actually meet high value dates and connections, we have to get beyond just the physical appearance. So what pairing does is it takes the focus off the profile and makes it more about who you know and how to connect with those people in your world that maybe you weren't even aware of. I mean, most of the time we wanna meet somebody in real life and we love the idea of being set up by friends or meeting someone through a friend of a friend. Now what this does is it actually shows the power power of expanding your social circle and using the people that you already have a trusted relationship in your world. Most of the time, if a friend says to you, hey, I want to set you up with somebody else, you're more likely to trust their judgment than say just trying to meet a random stranger online. Essentially, what pairing does is it takes mutual circles and matches people together out of those circles so that you can create a connection. There are three ways that you can have matches on pairing. Now, the first way is mutual circles, which is all about understanding that there are probably singles in your connected social circles that you're not even aware of and it finds those connections and actually gives you that introduction that maybe you wouldn't have started if you were hoping to meet that person in real life. This just shows how small the world actually is and who is actually available to you which is what I get excited about because so many people come to me and say Renee there's no one out there I want to meet somebody in real life I feel like I don't know anyone do I have to move cities do I have to move countries. No, you don't. Now, dating apps obviously are able to show you who's single out there, but if you can actually have a dating app that shows you who's single that was in your world or in your social circle without you even knowing, then that becomes exciting. Now, the second way is introduction. This is where your friends can play matchmakers. And I know that I've played matchmaker in the past and I've also had other friends set me up on blind dates. And as I said before, you're more likely to trust your friend's judgment than trying to just, you know, connect with some random stranger online. Basically, your friends also download the app and they use their list of contacts 
person who they are connected with to work out who they can actually identify in that circle to match with you. And lastly, the third way to actually be matched on pairing is simply by geolocation. Now, geolocation is a great way to realize who is available to you in the vicinity that you live. So if you're able to use geolocation, which you can turn on or turn off to find the singles in your area, then again, you're going to realize that there is opportunity out there. It's just about being able to identify it and invite it. Now, because pairing has literally just launched, um, there aren't a lot of users on there. I'll just be totally honest. But this is a good thing. A lot of the time when dating apps first launch, they freak out that they don't have any users. And what they do is they create fake profiles. Now, pairing is completely against that. And you have to remember one of the major reasons why we actually get exhausted when it comes to dating apps is because we have too many people to actually choose from and we don't know which ones are authentic and which ones are just scammers. So this is why it's good to kind of start with a new dating app that is really really about verifying each and every profile through your phone number and making sure that they're not necessarily about let's put on as many people as we can, but let's actually have real people so we can have quality matches. Now, another good point that I have to say is this app is not linked to social media. Hallelujah. And I really like this because sometimes we just want our dating life to be completely separate to our social media life. What we put on Instagram isn't necessarily a real representation of who we are. And I actually did a statistic and found that I think like 34% of people were really bummed out that the person they went on a date with were nothing like their Instagram profile. Now, currently pairing is free, which is a great opportunity for you to be able to try it. Now, what I would actually suggest, because it doesn't actually have a lot of users on it because it's literally just started, is if you've got a couple of your single friends, why don't you all go on it at once? Because what you actually find is that you might actually have connections without even knowing. And all these years and all this time, you could have set your friend up with, you know, not even knowing that it was possible because people Pairing actually works off this mutual connections that you guys build. Well, guys, that's my little review on the dating app pairing. Now, if you want to know more, then I have put a link down below where you can actually click through and download the app. It is available on iOS and Apple. If you have a dating app that you really want me to do a review on because you're not sure or you just want to get a real sort of good idea whether or not it is one that is going to get you closer to your goal of finding love or it's just going to be another hookup app, then let me know by putting it in the comments down below and I will do a review on that app as well. I'm Renee Slansky. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Of course, click the notification button for the next time that I do my next video. And until next time, bye for now.